Inventor 2020 has added end caps to their frame generator, uh, the frame generator module that it's got. So what happens, what we need to do is before we start using the, the frame generator end caps, we need to make sure that it's installed. So when installing Inventor, make sure that when you are installing the content center, that you have the custom content uh, selected over here. As you can see, the custom library contains the frame, frame generator end caps. So once you've installed that, uh, we can now go into Inventor and start using our, um, our end caps um, in, in the frame generator environment. So I'm just gonna jump through to Inventor now, um, and you'll see that I've created my, my one of my frames over here. And I'm going to insert an end cap. So at the top of here, you'll notice that there's a new icon, insert end cap, and as I select it, it brings up the properties palette, so the end cap uses the new properties palette, um, asking me for some uh, some inputs. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to go select the inside face over there. And immediately what it does is it says can't locate the inventor custom content. Now I've installed the content, so what do I do now? Um, just make sure if, if something like this happens, always just go to your project and make sure that the content library is, is available for that project. So I'm going to go into my projects at the bottom of here. I'm just going to make sure that I've configured my content center libraries correctly. So when I'm going through over here, you'll see that my cont co custom content is not actually selected for this project. So let's go and select it and select OK. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'll just save the changes to that project and go back to my uh, my assembly with my frame generator. So insert end cap. Okay, once again, it's asking me for uh, the face and there it actually takes it. So now what we can do, we can go into the behavior. Um, as you can see, I can select more than one face as well. And the behavior, I can either have the end cap sitting, um, you know, sort of out of the face or inside um, the inner diameter of the, the frame. The thickness as well, you can change. So maybe I want it to be two millimeters or three millimeters. Inset, uh, the percentage of the inset I want as well. Um, so let's make it uh, 5%, so you can just see it puts it in a little bit over there. You can rotate it, so obviously if it was a, uh, rotating a, a circular uh, end cap is not really going to make much difference. And then just for the part, part properties, I can give it a material, appearance, and also where do I create my part number, which can be entered into the content center. Um, this also has a preset, so I can save this and, uh, sorry, um, yeah, so a preset, so I can create a new preset for it at the top of here. Um, if I want to put another one in, I can just apply and create a new end cap or click on OK and it will take me out of the command. Okay, so there we go. There is my end cap. Um, and this is just a brief show on how to um, get the end caps in the frame generator available to you uh, for use uh, in Inventor 2020. Thank you very much for